Hey, howdy do out there everyone, my name is Michael and welcome to the Duke Corner where today I present and cover the process of a long-awaited design project which is rather special in that as opposed to my normal schoolwork, this is a freelance I took on for myself and will be printed on a 9 foot vinyl sheet for a trailer in the coming months, making it one of the very few of my works that I'll get to see become real. So let's get into the nearly 8 hours of design work and condense down what I did. So this isn't really a commission, I was happy to do this one for free, as I have for many other designs that my troop has wanted over the years. I'm an avid boy scout, an eagle scout, and I'm still active within my troop as a leader, so I help where I can, and designing is obviously a place where I can shine in some assistance. We have a really old trailer that's been with us for decades, and we use it to carry in all of our supplies to events and campouts. I was asked if I could design a series of three vinyl sheets to cover up the old blemishes and breathe some new life into the old thing, as well as advertise us and our small roster of Eagle Scouts, dating back to 1913. With parameters set and free reign to do basically anything I wanted, I started work. As you just saw, I started off by using Photoshop to edit an image created by Scouting's founder, Lord Baden-Powell, of a scout hiking with his staff on a mountain. It's something this troop typically puts in all of their design work, so I cleaned it up, moved some of the elements around, colored it, and turned it into a vector to be used in the design. I have the trailer's measurements that I took, so you'll see that in Illustrator, I have three canvases set up at those sizes, two sides and a back, with the sides having a wheel well carved out where I can't put any significant design elements, as they would be covered up by, obviously, the wheels. Our troop's color is red, so I started with a backing of Scout Red from a color swatch series that I found in the BSA Advertising Guide, and began tracing the mountain. The mountain in question, of course, is a silhouette of Mount Monadnock, which is the landmark of our district and what it's named after. There was a set bit of text I needed in there that's in all of our troop designs, which I placed in using Arial as a font for now, as it should be readable from a distance and from the road, as this is an advertisement on a trailer, after all. My inspiration for this came to me as I was placing elements into the pasteboard, specifically from the fleur de lis. I was going to be patriotic and take a page out of other trailers I've seen and use a red, white, and blue swoop, which not only looks like an American flag, but is also a pretty scouty theme and very common across trailers and campers alike, as well as, of course, being useful to direct the eye across the page. I was also going to have the mountains and the swoop continue seamlessly across from side to side of the canvas, which you will see later on in the mock-ups, especially as I had to make many alterations because, of course, I screwed up the measurements. Either way, for now, I achieved that by placing the canvases side by side to simulate the gap between and just running the elements between before cutting them off with a trim. I also had to work out some kinks with the fleur de lis, the logo of the BSA, which was a PNG and not good enough quality one either, so I converted it into Illustrator and turned it into a vector so that I could use it for this project, which subsequently builds up my catalog of free elements that I have to work with later on. I made a lot of little tweaks, molding out some light and shadow on the mountains, adding an eagle badge on the back of the trailer, and vectoring another commonly used graphic of silhouetted scouts performing various activities to fill up the space on the mountain, using the light to separate so that I wouldn't lose the silhouette of the mountain. At the end of the major design process, I flipped all of my work onto a mirrored version on another canvas, then converted my text to outlines and flipped those back so that they would read the same and face forward on both sides of the trailer. Moving on to the mock-ups began with pictures I took of the actual troop trailer. You can see how dirty and needing of a spoof up the trailer is in the images. Using mostly the bubble select and the eraser tools, I cut each angle of the trailer out of their backgrounds, and then cut the various important elements off into their own layer so that they could be seen beneath the design when I was done pasting it in. This was made actually before I knew too much about mock-ups, so the process I went through here doesn't really make it look all that realistic, but it does make them look very clean and evenly lit, as I brushed up all the edges and the blemishes by hand like I was painting.
So of course, I made it a lot more complicated by screwing up a bunch and creating a ton of smart objects that were all linked, meaning I had to remake some of them. But the remaining process was pretty simple after the cutouts, creating selections on the trailer faces and then using smart objects to insert my graphics. Which is where you can see the problems start to arise with alignment, such as I said earlier, because I didn't measure right, and forgot to take into account where all those little metal bits and framing are. So I had to rework the art a bunch of times to make the design fit proper. But without much else in the way of huge problems, I laid out all the graphics into one big lineup to present them, and voila! Troop 2 has a brand new trailer graphic to go in their rather plain looking red box. Now bagosh, I made this months ago, and I wanted to post it really bad for so long, but considering the considerable size of the project and the hours of content that needed to be edited, I wanted to put a whole lot more time into the editing work. As my not-so-New Year's resolution, because those never come true, I've been looking into methods for improving the standard quality of my content and reaching new people with it. So I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Design, probably one of the last until school starts up again shortly. So beware of dudes and coming. Speaking of reaching new people, don't forget to hit that like and subscribes to help out the channel. If you did make it to the end with me, thanks for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a good winter break, and without further ado, farewell.